And this will be available on my Facebook and on my Instagram. You will also need one of these plastic placemats. And I found this one at Dollar Tree. A piece of cardboard. Some Mod Podge some type of clay and I'll be using this air dry modeling clay that I picked up at Walmart. You can also use polymer clay. Some type of glitter. Some wire and I'm not sure about what gauge this is but I picked it up at Dollar Tree. Some scissors, something to cut your wires with, paintbrush, and this puffy 3D paint. And I picked this up at Walmart also. And we'll also need some type of strong permanent glue. And I'm using E6000. Okay, guys, so that's it. Let's get started. Okay guys, one other thing, you will need a pencil or a marker to trace your wings. So, once you download and print out your copy, you will have two sets of wings. This would be the bottom set of wings, and this would be the top set of wings. And this is just an outline of the body. And you'll see, once you print out where it says, back top right, so that lets you know where that goes, back top left, back bottom left, back bottom right so you know these go at the bottom of the butterfly so these will sit at the bottom and these will sit at the top okay so once you have those printed out what you want to do is cut those out okay and I didn't cut any out because this is the only copy that I have so far and I don't want to um, mess this up because I still need to upload it in order for you guys to print this out so let's just say I cut this out already then you take your cardboard and you trace your cutout onto the cardboard. Once you're done tracing your cutout, you will then cut out the cardboard copy. And this will be your stencil that you can use over and over and over again. So just take your time and cut it out neatly. Or if you want to, you can use some other type of um, medium to trace your butterflies on too. Okay, so now that you have that, so then you would take your cutouts and trace these onto your placemat. And once that's done, you would go ahead and cut all your pieces out because these pieces are going to be your wings and the piece that you see here for the body you'll only be using that for reference when you're tracing your wings make sure you go ahead and mark your pieces so you'll know where they go so I'm going to go ahead and finish cutting these pieces out and then I'll come back after you are done cutting out your butterfly wings and body, you will have something like this. This is just to give you an idea of what it looks like. This is the bottom layer of wings and this is the top. 
And if you look at them, you can see that there's a difference. And this is how they will be sitting. See the difference? Okay. You see how these have the little thing that drops down and the top wings don't? Okay, so one other thing I want you to check is to make sure that you are satisfied with your wings. If you are not, then go back in with your scissors and create a deeper curve if you need to. But make sure you are satisfied with, the, with your wings because these are your actual wings that you will be putting on the butterfly. Okay. One other thing you can do if you don't want to write on your wings, you can actually use a piece of tape and put the tape down on your wing and then write, you know, whether these go on the bottom or the top. And then you can just peel it off and go on to the next step, which is really important if you want to add detail to your wings. So you can either do that or you can flip them over this way. And your left wing becomes your right wing your right wing becomes your left wing okay so you still have the same thing okay so what you want to do next is take your marker this is one of those little uniball markers to add detail I'm going to go around the edges with my puff paint okay but I also want to add more detail to the wing so all that I'm going to do is just come in a little bit and just pretty much follow the pattern of the wing Okay, so then I'm just going to make a line here, right where it comes in, and one there. And that's my design for my puff paint. I'm going to go around the edges, and you can trace there if you need to, and then I'm going to come in here. And so for here, I'm doing the same thing, just... you can use you can do like flowers on the wings you don't have to do this pattern Okay, so now what I'll do is go ahead and start putting my puff paint lines onto my wings. Here we go. <laughs> Alright, so what you want to do is take your puff paint and trace those lines. And you might just want to take a piece of paper or your cardboard and just do like a test for line. And it won't be perfect. Alright, so... Before I go around the outside, I'll do the inside first. do this the easier it'll get so, so I'll just let that dry a bit come back and then do the outline how to do the second set of wings and then once that's dry we'll go ahead and go on all right so I'm gonna go ahead and trim the outside of the wing the inside is not completely dry but I'm gonna go ahead and do the outside Bring this closer so you can see. 
Okay, so that's how it looks so far. I'm going to let this sit for 24 hours, and then I'll come back and move on to the next step. Hi everyone, I'm back. And as you can see, my wings are completely dry. This is the bottom set and this is the top set. Um, right here, I kind of missed the edge, so what I'll do is just come back and fill that in with some more of the puffy paint. But yeah, this is what it looks like. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just move these aside for now and start working on the body. Alright, to start working on the body, we are going to use the body piece that we cut out as a reference. And I'm going to use this clay that I found at Walmart. And remember, you can also use polymer clay. The polymer clay you will have to bake and um, the instruction will be a little bit different, but I'll get into that later. So um, I've already made one butterfly, as you know. So I'm going to just remove this tape that I put on here to keep it from drying out. So I'm just going to condition the clay. And I'm not sure if I have enough yet, but I'm just running it through my fingers just to give it a really good condition before I start to mold it. And if you're using polymer clay, you would do the same thing. You would need to condition the clay as well. Get an idea to see if I have enough. I think I need a little bit more. Okay, so I have a little bit of water. And I'm just going to add it to the clay. Roll it out. And you can smooth it as you're rolling it out. Just add a little water to it. And then just take your fingers and start putting a dent like this one to make the head separate from the body. If you want to, you can take like a, a pencil or something and go around it. And then start smoothing it out. And there you pretty much have the shape. Alright, I checked in the camera and I could see that it was kind of blended into the background. So I'm putting it on top of this board to give you guys a better view of what I'm doing. So I'm going to take some more of my water and smooth this out some more. Okay. And when you get it to where you want it to be, all you need to do then is... Find something if you want to put some lines in. And this is a butter knife that I've dedicated to my crafting. Take my butter knife and put some lines across here. So if you get some areas you're not happy with, you can just use your water again and smooth it out. Now that I'm pretty happy with the way the body looks, I'm going to go ahead and take the wires that I showed you earlier and get an idea how long I want my, what do you call them, antennas? <laughs> to be, so I'm just going to roughly cut it here. So, go ahead and shape your butterfly antenna or whatever it's called <laughs> and um, kind of think I want it this way and then try and get the other one to match is go ahead and insert this in the top so the next thing I want to do is Take some more clay, condition it, and maybe make, cut this in half to make the little balls. I'm going 
to do now is let this sit for about three hours. And the reason that I'm letting it sit for three hours is because I want it to firm up more so I can put the wings in. So I'm going to let this sit. Um, I guess I'll work on these a little bit more, make sure they're a little bit more rounder. Uh, I might even redo the little antennas. I don't know if I like the way this one is. So um, either way, I can pull these out later, <clears throat> put some more in there. But yeah, I'm going to let this sit up for about three hours, come back, and then we'll put the wings in. And then after that, we'll go on to the next step. Okay, guys, I'm back. So what I want to do now, this is not completely dry. And as you can see, I changed the little antennas. So what I want to do now is take the bottom set of wings and insert them into the clay. So we'll take this one and it'll go here. It's going to go here. This one will go here. And this one will go here. So I'm just going to carefully press down and insert, I want it to be in the bigger part of the body, I want to insert the bottom wings. And this is just temporary until it's completely dry and then we'll use some E6000 to make it a permanent hold. Made a little dent in there, but I can fix that. All right, so now we will we'll insert this one. Okay, so what I'll do now is let this dry for about another hour and then we'll come in and insert the next four wings. Okay guys, I thought I was recording but I wasn't. I actually waited about 30 minutes and then installed this wing. So I'll show you how I did that. All you need to do is push this one down at an angle. So the wings are set up. And this is the bottom part. Same thing. Now this side, time to set an angle so I can see what I'm doing. And try not to mess up the body too bad. Oops. Well, you just don't move it like I did. Now, since it's not completely dry, you can go ahead and put something between those set, two sets of wings. I'm going to use these glue sticks to help support the top wings while it dries. But we'll come in later and glue this together with some E6000. So I'm going to let this sit um, overnight because it's late. And then tomorrow we'll come back and complete this. Hi guys, I'm back. And it has been about 18 hours since I last worked on this. I had a very busy day today and I'm just getting back to it. So it all worked out perfect. So yeah, um, I'm going to remove the glue sticks so you can see how it sits up. So the next thing I want to do is remove the wings and then use some E6000 to glue them onto my clay.
I will also glue my little antennas in place as well. Another thing I want to mention, if you do decide to use polymer clay, then what you would do is follow the same steps as I did with the air dry clay. Now just go ahead and put the glue on, glue these in place, and I'm going to let that sit for about an hour because I have other things I need to do. A lot of times when I'm doing my crafts, I'm busy doing other crafts as well, so I might work on one for a minute and then go off and do something else on another one. Alright, so what I want to do now is just glue these in place. So I'm just going to pull these out. And I'm going to glue the bottom wings in first. I'm just kind of pushing the glue into the slot. Come around to the other side. Same thing. Okay. Try to keep a little bit of space between the two wings. All right. So now I'm going to do the same thing for the top set of wings. Go ahead and let this sit overnight because I have other things that I need to do and then I'll come back tomorrow and complete this. I'm back everyone and this has been setting up overnight and it should be pretty dry. Yeah. So this is where we are so far. Before we go on to painting this, I have this butterfly that I picked up at Dollar Tree. And as you can see, it's really cute, but it's really flimsy. But when I first got it, I decided I'd get it just to get this clip. Now you can find it probably at Michael's or online. I haven't checked yet, but I'm going to take this clip off, attach it to the bottom of my butterfly, and I'll be using some E6000 along with some hot glue so, I, so that I can get an immediate hold. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want to go ahead and spray paint my butterfly. So. Oh, that popped right off. So I'm going to just make sure there's nothing on there. So now that my hot glue is dry, I'm going to take this out back, spray paint it, and then come back and pick up where I left off. Okay guys, I'm back and as you can see, I'm through painting my butterfly and now you can see the detail really good and I also spray paint at the bottom and now you see how this works. Okay, so what I want to do now is go ahead and add some glitter and jazz it up some more. So I'm going to use my Mod Podge glitter mixture to create my first layer. And I'm doing this because if I just sprinkle the glitter on top of Mod Podge, over time I will lose the glitter and it'll be really dull and not as attractive. But with the glitter mixture behind it, it'll still be really pretty. And I'm using some glitter that I picked up at Walmart. I picked this up at Walmart also. And it's really good glitter, but 
for the ones that come in this pack of 12, these are really brilliant and pretty. So I'm going with those today. Okay, so I'm going to let this sit and dry and then once it's dry, I'll come back and do another layer of the um, mixture and then we'll go on to um, completing it. Okay guys, I'm back and this is where we are so far with our butterfly. I went ahead and put some glitter on the back as well. So now I'm going to go ahead and bling this all the way out. So I'm just using the same container I used before added some Mod Podge and now I'm just going to brush it onto the wings. I'm going to start with the back wings first. Pull this out as best as you can because the Glitter will pick up all the little lines that you leave in it, the lines and clumps. Okay, so now just take your glitter, and I'm using the big part, the open part, and just sprinkle your glitter on there while it's still wet. we are so far right here I think I'm going to add a little bit more glue and glitter here so that's what you would do once you're done you would go over and inspect your butterfly see if you need to put more glitter anywhere now I'll collect the rest of this glitter put it back into my container and do the other side okay guys I'm back and this is the finished look and I'm calling these Beverly's beautiful butterflies and these are really blinged out. I'm not really getting the correct color on camera or the bling. Guys, you really need to see this in person. Well, if you make it, then you'll know. And especially if you use the same glitter that I use. But yeah, this is it. Um, I also have some other ideas as to how I want to do these. So continue to watch my channel because I will show you other ways of decorating your butterflies. I had to come up with a way to make these for you guys, and I hope I didn't let you guys down. Um, like I said, I have a couple other ways, maybe even three or four more ways that I want to do this. And I have all the information in the description box below. On